Hello again, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will summarize what we have learned about variables. So what is a variable? A variable is a container that stores data values. Variable names are strongly suggested to be descriptive. A variable name starts with letters or underscore character. So variable names cannot start with a number. A variable name can only contain alphanumeric characters or numbers and letters and of course the underscore characters. A variable name is case sensitive which means that we, if we have a variable name called counter all lowercase and we have another variable name called counter with all uppercase these two are totally different from each other. So if we have another variable called counter with a capital letter C, this is also valid and a different variable from the other two. But all three variables are valid and all three variables are unique. Variable names do not affect code performance. It is only for code readability. Variable names are strongly suggested to be descriptive. To do that, we apply variable naming conventions. We use the camel case, which is uppercase of the first letter of words, except for the first word. So an example is last name with a capital N on the name. We also use Pascal case, which uh, has the first letter of all words, uppercase. So an example is the last name again, with capital L and capital N. Then we have the snake case, which is separate words with underscore. So we can use the Pascal case combined with the snake case, which uh, separates last and name by underscore. And we have also lowercase last name separated by uh, underscore both the words last and the name. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell so that you will get notified about my next videos. So to assign values to variables, we use the equal sign operator to assign a value to a variable. So in example, we have a variable called fruit and we have the string banana. We can also assign multiple values to multiple variables. So in this case, we have fruit one and fruit two separated by comma equals to mango comma apple. So mango is stored in fruit one, apple is stored in fruit two respectively. We can also have multiple variables assigned one value. So in this case, three variables, fruit one, fruit two, fruit three, will have the same value, strawberry. And we can also assign values by unpacking a collection, just like a list. This results to mango being stored in fruit one, apple stored in fruit two, and cherry stored in fruit three.